Okay, y'all, we're back over here to Carl's, and uh, Carl pulled one hell of a vacuum the other night, uh, Saturday night, Derby Day, and he kept it on here, I think, till about 3 o'clock in the morning. And, uh, you know, we nitrogen tested it uh, up to 120, didn't, and then bubble tested. We didn't have any leaks, and, and we pulled the vacuum. Um, just for giggles, waiting, kind of waiting for Carl to get home from work day. We still got to get underneath that crawl and run that drain and everything and trap it and put our uh, safety on there and program the uh, thermostat. But uh, I went ahead and pulled my uh, Schraders and uh, blew, blew both ends out with nitrogen real good. And then uh, put my Schraders back in and now we're gonna, we've got the Testos on her and we're gonna pull a vunk, uh, another a vacuum. We're gonna pull another vacuum for uh, several hours. You know, it's like 12 and I don't think Carl gets home until five. So I'm gonna leave her on here all day. All right, y'all, yeah, we'll uh, get inside and mess around with the thermostat a little bit. Y'all, we got uh, we got back in the uh, the panel here in the 125 uh, amp uh, eight pole uh, panel here, eight leg panel, and uh, nothing to it. And my California brothers, nothing to it. And Dallas uh, pointed out to me like on this white, and they're absolutely right. This white on a 115 uh, amp circuit or a 115 amp uh, breaker would be uh, a neutral wire. Okay, now it's a hot wire, so. I needed to indicate my hots with this red tape here. So what I did was I got in here and I just went crazy with the tape and indicating, you know, what all's hot in here. So everything you see red is a hot wire. And I also did the same thing down in the furnace here. So to indicate that in case somebody else comes along and, and thinking it's a neutral. Thing is though, uh, neutral may say neutral, but neutral will grab hold of you. All right, just keep that in mind. Y'all, we're at the uh, American Standard uh, dual fuel thermostat here, and I'm getting ready to set it, set it up. And here's your setting, and here's your setup, and then you go by these here. So probably be a minute. Ain't like the ain't like the Honeywell Dallas is used to. All right, y'all. Yeah. We're gonna uh, put our secondary float switch deal in here and uh, run our primary here. Uh, Carl's got the trap, but I think I might have one out in the truck somewhere. But anyway, it's like 10 after 4, so we just got done programming the thermostat <clears throat> and uh, waiting on Carl to get home so he can hop down in the crawl and uh, uh, run the rest of the uh, drain there. But, uh, you know, that's such as life being an, a tradesman. He's a plumber, and uh, right there at uh, 10 after 4, they were back at the shop unloading, and here they come walking out with a work order. Uh, he had to grab the sewer machine and uh, take off and... Uh, go unplug a main sewer so it was on the other side of town and he's got his helper with him so he's gonna have to drive back to the shop drop the sewer machine off and the helper off so it could be a 30 minute job let's pray for that or he could be out there six six hours trying to you know open that that clog up so but anyway we got it under control and uh reckon we'll holler at you in a bit float in there and i'll take a wire of this and i don't know i got lucky man there's already a knock out there with a little rubber bushing in it Hey y'all, we're breaking the yellow here, and uh, it'll uh, kill the outside unit if uh, if she overflows, stops up. Well, I ain't got a micron gauge, so you know I'm sure I hear about that. But negative, negative. That's negative 31. This has been evacuated three times now, so uh, we're taking it to the next level over here at Carl's. Uh, I'm getting ready to uh, shut her down here. All right, y'all, I'm going to open her up, and we're going to get at it as soon as Carl gets out of the crawler. 20 feet. Uh, well, it comes all the way over from that edge, all the way around. Yeah, probably about 20 feet, I'd say. Okay, I'm going to have to put a little in her. How far did I get that pipe down to you? Did I get you enough? Oh, yeah, plenty. Okay. You're going to have to cut some off? Just a little bit. Okay. Better have too much and too little, huh? That's right. Y'all, let's play Knuckle Buster here. Look how that liquid line is. I like to back them out, but don't go too far because that little clip on there, you're going to have a problem. But what I do is I back it out, and when I feel like it's getting close, I'll slow down a hair. 
I'll get it right there to it just like that and then I'll bring it back just a taste so it ain't riding on that. All right, y'all. Carl's final escape. Oh, shit. There went your screen, Carl. Uh, your screen fell off the back door. Wind caught it. Oh, man. Be all right. Did you get her glued up? Buttoned up. Buttoned up. All right, y'all. We got the stand on the wall programmed. Let's see what the, it's 82 in the house. Let's. I got the sensor hooked up outside uh, to the heat pump out there, out of direct sunlight, and let's see what the temperature is outside. 80 degrees outside. That should give us uh, a good, good uh, charging weather right there. All right, y'all. Letting uh, Carl finish up gluing, gluing the three quarter here. And we're gonna get after it. Carl, come on, prime that trap for us, buddy. And let you know when we get water back here. Yep, we got water. So we'll just flush it on out there, baby. Don't matter, we got it, use it. Well, that way we can actually look out back and see if she's uh, dropping down. I'm gonna put your uh, float back in there. There, it's perfect. Oh, like it. Straight. Yep, just like it. All right, gotcha. Make it look pretty. Make it look pretty. All right, y'all. Let's uh, let's do some air conditioning. Hey, y'all. We got her opened up and been running for a good hour. Required sub cooling on this unit. Design sub cooling temperature is 11. Now, when that TXD opens and closes, I might hit up to like 12.2 or something like that. But I'm allowed a variance of plus three or minus three on my sub cooling. As you can see, my superheat's pretty close. My uh, my suction uh, line pressure is 128.4. My liquid line pressure is 282, 283. Delta T, all right. My evaporator temperature is 44.2. My condenser temperature is 91.9. My T1, which is my suction line, is 53.8. T2, which is my liquid, is 79.9. And as you can tell, we're dead on the money, guys. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tweak with uh, points. You know what I mean? Ain't worth it. This uh, R410A can get away with you. Trust me. But I'm gonna tell on myself here. You know, uh, I was trying to get everything lined out for Carl and get everything going and everything. And like I said to all the fellas out there, there's some tremendous techs on here that I know and personally know, and they're really great guys and they've helped me out a lot. Me personally, I'm not super tech, but I'm learning as fast as I can and as hard as I can. I'm just an old installer, but I'm trying to pick up my service. So what I did was uh, I got out here and I had everything hooked up and had my gauges zeroed out, and I was getting some funky pressures, man. Sub, sub, super heat was like 0.1, and sub cooling was off the chart. But what tripped me out was my suction pressure and my liquid pressure weren't off that bad. But what it was, y'all, you got to put the door on the blower. Okay, there you go. Got to put the door on the blower. As soon as I did that, wham, there you go. All right, y'all. Me and Carl are going to do a little pookie in the house and get the doors back on in there and all that good stuff. Bear with me. All right, y'all, we're teaching Carl Pookie 101. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him spread. My God, Carl, you missed your calling, son. Look at That's that. Look, I done had it all over me. But what it is, he turned his head around. <laughs> That's some of the best pookie work I have ever seen from. Just trying to fill it in. And a whole lot to fill in, isn't it? Just a little bit of a gap right there. It wasn't bad. That's what it's all about. That's what it's for. Look at that, y'all. That's not perfect. And those are smudges and ain't put. Is it a little better? Carl, that is. It's perfect. Pookie Master 101. Alright, y'all. I just had Carl kicking in the heat mode. Heard the reversing valve. Y'all hear that little. That's what that was. 
All right, we're gonna let this run for a second. It's it's kind of it's probably about 78 out here, man. But it's real uh, sticky, so I'm gonna let this run for a little bit. They just they just put the kids to bed, so we'll uh, we'll let it run just for a minute, and then we'll turn it back to cooling. I heard the reverse valve kick. She's in the heat mode. Cool. Reach on down there and fill them lines. That's how you can tell. That that top one gonna be a little cool. What's that bottom one feel like? Yeah, mine was hot. Man, I'm loving these lights, y'all. Uh, what is it, about 10 o'clock now? Uh, I'll let you know here in just a second. 10.09. 10.09, look at this. See everything in there. Y'all, we've given her time to equalize, and uh, Carl's going to put it back in the cooling mode. I think Dolly's a little warm in there, so let's, uh, let's, let's take a gander here. There's that reversing valve, baby. And there we go. All right. All right. All right, y'all, we're done over here. Uh, Carl's going to just finish up uh, putting the discussion ring down there and covering that hole up there. We got everything pooky. Got our uh, uh, 125 amp uh, box on. Got to be quiet. The, the kids are sleeping. Um, got our uh, <clears throat> our uh, drain run with our trap and I've got our secondary uh, safety on there. Um, pretty much done. Uh, thermostat's nice. You can actually hit this button here and tell the temperature outside. It's 74 outside. So, we're up and running. We're rocking. Next time you'll see me over here is when there's a green sticker slapped right there saying Rochester's eating an air passive fine.